My name is Courtney Cox. I'm a doctoral candidate in communication at Annenberg, and I primarily research identity and representation in sports, and more specifically, sports media. My dissertation is trying to create this vivid world, this picture, both in person and afar as I consume media, to understand what the lived experiences of those athletes are in their own words, as well as understanding um, how this plays into larger systems of media and capitalism. I'm interested in women's basketball here in Los Angeles, whether it's the Sparks, whether it's USC, but I'm also interested in women that are playing basketball in Russia, in France, so I do a lot of field observations where I not only watch women's basketball, but I also talk to the athletes most effective. It's interesting to consider the ways in which the sport has been consumed by men and women all over the world, and the ways in which now, as I consider women's basketball in my research, these global frameworks offer us new ways to think about the ways in which exchange of culture, economy, and politics can operate within the sphere of sport. So basketball is one of the U.S.'s most interesting exports. As it traveled overseas, missionaries from the YMCA were taking the sport to India, China, the UK. And so what I am trying to chart and what I've found so far is that for women, basketball gives them a unique opportunity to travel the world. Basketball's unique status as a sport that needs very little to play has opened up possibilities for women all over the world in ways that I didn't expect at all. I'm kind of thinking of the ways in which women can be commodified in particular ways. It's really interesting having this Barbie from eBay that I purchased because now even recently we've heard about Ibtaj Muhammad and she's getting her own Barbie and so this idea of representation matters, right, um, is really an important thing to think about but I'm also interested on the flip side of thinking about what this commodification does, right, who can be commodified, um, how they're commodified and how we market and sell women in any kind of ways progress is kind of sold to us in these little chunks and these boxes that we purchase. So one area of my dissertation I really love talking about is um, thinking about global governing bodies like FIBA which is the international body for basketball and thinking about the ways in which they have this opportunity to both create and control um, the levels of access for basketball. They recently voted on whether or not women could wear the hijab in international competition. And so what I'm interested in is kind of breaking through this idea of who is constricting Muslim women. Instead of thinking about it as Islam, I'm thinking about it in the ways in which these Western organizations are dictating what is allowed and what isn't. The fact that Nike not only partnered with FIBA as their headlining sponsor, but release their own pro hijab, a dry fit hijab, um, for Muslim women who are working out. So in a sense, Nike makes this semi-political statement, which is directly tied into they are kind of capitalizing off a current moment and kind of taking this stance, right? And so I'm really interested in untangling the corporate um, intervention that Nike is making or not making by interjecting themselves into this conversation about whether or not the job should be allowed as they also outfit all of the FIBA athletes. So much of my work, whether I'm thinking about Barbie, whether I'm thinking about Nike and it's Nike Pro Hijab, I'm thinking about the ways in which this larger, what we call the sports media complex operates. The ways in which all of these pieces are moving and constantly interacting with one another. 